So you want to quit smoking for Christmas. Here are seven reasons why, and here's why they're important, because you can use these seven reasons to motivate yourself. So you want to quit smoking for Christmas, but you're not quite sure how to get yourself to quit smoking for Christmas. Or even better, how you get yourself motivated to quit at Christmas time. P.S. This is also true of vaping. We're going to go through the top seven reasons why you should quit smoking for Christmas. You will be able to use these seven reasons to motivate yourself to not only quit, but so that you stay quit, which is really the whole point of quitting, isn't it? Now you want to stay to the end of the video because at the end of the video, I'm going to give you the number one reason why, the number one reason why you should quit smoking and how to use it as a motivator so that you actually stay quit. So let's hop right in. Here we are. It's pre-Christmas and you've decided that you want to quit smoking or vaping for Christmas. What now? Well, the very first step in quitting smoking or really any quit smoking journey is your motivation. Are you properly motivated? How do we use Christmas time to help push us over the motivation hump? And how do we get our mind wrapped around why to quit smoking at Christmas time? So if you're stuck and you need to get yourself unstuck so you can properly be motivated at Christmas to to quit? Well then lean on these top seven reasons why quitting smoking at Christmas time. It's a really, really good idea. So let's just run through them very quickly for you. At number seven, the number seven motivator to quit at Christmas time, and a really good reason to quit, is there's family around. Support is everywhere. Think about it, it's Christmas time. When do we spend most of time with our family? It's typically Christmas. It can be Thanksgiving as well, but usually we're around our family at Christmas time. And guess who our greatest support often is? Family. So it's a really, really good time to quit smoking because you have people around at length, often for two weeks or longer, and people that care about you and want you to quit. So reason number six, buying presents means you don't have money for cigarettes. So let's think about this one. Put this in some context. Think about how much you spend on cigarettes. Easily in a month, people spend a hundred bucks, sometimes more. How many Christmas gifts would that buy for a niece or a nephew or a child to put under that tree? So you can use this as motivation that you're not gonna smoke because you're not gonna have that money to buy cigarettes because you're gonna use it to buy Christmas presents. It's a great motivator. Number five, it's a gift for your family. It is a really good motivator to quit because you want to spend more time with your loved ones because the average smoker loses 14 years of life. What, what does that mean? That's 14 years of life you won't be with your kids if you have them. Or if you don't have kids, your partner or your niece and your nephew or your brothers and sisters. You are losing 14 years of life with those people. So it's a, a wonderful gift for our family. We often have family that wants us to quit. So what a wonderful gift. What a wonderful motivator that we can use to motivate ourselves to quit smoking at Christmas time. Reason number four. This is a really important one. There is a positive mood around everywhere. It's Christmas time. Many, 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 many people are very happy at Christmas time. Now, there is the Christmas blues and there are some people and that may in fact be you. But we all know people that love Christmas time and they get up and the mood is up. Most people actually tend to feel better at Christmas time. And even if you live distant from your family or not around them, we usually have friends that we can spend time with at Christmas. And people feel good. It's a wonderful time of year full of wonderful stories and wonderful traditions. So here you are, you quit smoking. And when we quit, we know that we often feel upset, angry, and sometimes depressed and sad. So if that's the case, what a wonderful pick me up to be around other people where their mood is elevated because it's Christmas. So that's number four. There's a positive mood all around. Reason number three. It's the time of year for 
change. How many people decide after Christmas, I'm going to fill in the blank, lose weight, deal with my stress and anxiety, quit smoking, right? We, our mind is already geared up that this is the time of year, it's the end of the year, it's the end of the last month. This is the time of year for change. So your mind is already starting to organize itself and orient itself towards change. Another powerful motivator. Number two, now this one is going to have a caveat with it, but it, it actually can be quite helpful. Food fills cravings. When we quit, we can have cravings and we can have withdrawal and they're real. They're biochemical, sort of. Withdrawal is biochemical, cravings are mental. But at Christmas time, we tend to eat sweets and sugars and turkey and wonderful food and it just hits that sweet spot. We have apple pie, we have ice cream, gravy on our turkey, mashed potatoes, and it hits that sweet spot of your cravings. Here's the caveat. You've got to watch out. You don't then put on a whole lot of weight. So this is important because when you quit smoking, nicotine is an appetite suppressant. So your appetite suppressant's gone. Your taste buds start to come back when you quit smoking as well. Plus it's Christmas time. There's all these wonderful food, gingerbread houses, cookies, cakes, sweets, turkey, gravy. So it's kind of a catch-22. It will definitely hit your that, that craving spot. You just have to make a mental note of when you get through Christmas and your two, three, four weeks quit, you have to focus on your weight to keep that weight off, okay? So that's just really important to understand. But it has, it is a powerful motivator to credit Christmas time because it will help with cravings. The number one reason, and this is the most important. In fact, if you only nailed one reason, this is the reason you want to nail. The number one motivator or the number one reason why to quit at Christmas time is, it's a gift for you. Here is why. If you want to be properly motivated to quit smoking, you have to do it for yourself. You can't do it for anyone else. You can't do it because your partner has been bugging you or every time you go into a doctor's appointment, it's all your doctor talks about or all you do is watch YouTube videos where people go on about how it's going to kill you and it's very depressing. Those are not good reasons to quit. They're not good reasons at all. The best reason and the number one motivating reason is because you want to do it for yourself, because you want to be healthier, you want to live a long life. It's really about the art of positive momentum. The things that you are going to get when you give up smoking. So I want you to think about this one because this is really important. When you give up smoking, what are you really giving up? Think about the things that you hate about smoking, how it makes you worry about your future health how you want to be around for your loved ones, how it affects your breathing. So when, you, when you're giving up cigarettes, what are you really giving up? Well, you're giving up all that poor health. You're giving up give, losing those 14 years of life, the average smoker forfeits. You're giving up all the worry and concern about smoking. You're, you are giving up all the things you don't want to get the things you do want, a long and healthy life, to be around for the extra 14 years, to get your health back. It's a gift to yourself. That is the number one reason to quit and the number one motivator. Do it for you. That's Those are the top seven reasons to quit at Christmas time and the top seven reasons why it's a good time of year to actually quit. So it is, it is, just I want you to really hear what I'm saying here. It is impossible to quit smoking unless you are properly motivated. It's the where you have to start from. It's in your motivation. In my ebook, the How to Prepare Your Mind for Quitting Smoking, it's one of the number one things we talk about, your motivation. So if you have other motivations, for example, that I haven't even mentioned here in this video yet, please post those in the comment sections, section below. If you are really serious about quitting for Christmas, then click on the link in the description where you can book a free consultation with me. I will get you on the right track and get you motivated to quit for the rest of your life. It's free. Or if you're just done and you're just sick and tired of being sick and tired of smoking, then just join my program. You can get it right off my website and all the information is there of how it works. In fact, I'll post a video here called What is Stacking, which is the method that I use. So comment below. So, uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel, especially if you're interested in tips, tricks, and hacks on how to quit smoking for the rest of your life or vaping. 
Join my Facebook page. I post tons of free content there, my Instagram. I just want to thank everyone and wish you all a wonderful, merry, merry Christmas. Have a happy new year. Blessings and thank you.